We already talked about PBR maps and image textures, but what I haven't mentioned about them is that they are also seamless, meaning that when you tile them you won't see any hard seams, because the sides perfectly align with the start and the end. And this is very useful, because sometimes you might want to tile the texture to make the material bigger and match the size with other objects. But even though the textures are seamless, you will still observe a repeating pattern of the texture if you tile it many times. Of course this is a problem, because that's not what real materials look like, so here are three ways how to fix this. The first one is the most simple one and it is by using an uber mapping node group made by Andrew Price. He made this node specifically for this purpose so I really need to give credit to him because I know how many people, including me, were struggling because of this issue. Comment nodes and I will send you the video with the link in description. After downloading it, open your project and append the node group from the downloaded blender file. Then go to the shader editor and substitute the mapping node for the uber mapping node group and if you adjust the mosaic rotation, the node will randomize the rotation and get rid of the noticeable repetition. Now this method is very very effective and it will serve well in most cases. But the problem is that this node cannot be used for certain types of materials like bricks, planks and other materials with defined lines. So let me introduce you to the second option, which is using procedural texture blending. Procedural textures are the perfect source of randomness, which is exactly what we need in order to mask out the repetition. You can for example use a noise texture, mix it with the base color, and set the blend mode to color burn, which will blend the procedural texture and the image texture perfectly. You can also use the noise texture to adjust the hue and make different color variations on different spots, which can also help to distract the viewer from the repeating pattern. The last method that can be used to hide the repetition is again by texture painting. If you mix two different materials together, you can paint them together in a way that the tiling won't be even noticeable. Adding grunge, leaks, cracks, paint and other layers will help as well. 